Welcome to Getting APIs to Work. Today we will look at API First. API First is something that you hear a lot about and the question is, why does it matter? It sounds very technical, but what I want to do today is explain to you that it's not so much about the technical part of an API, but it's more about focusing on the value that an API can deliver and making that an important part of your digital activities. We look into this by first briefly looking at the digital focus that you should have when you look at your ecosystem of capabilities. Then we look at what it means to look at products in their digital form. Let's say, let's call them digital products. And then we look at what it means to look as, at products as APIs. And this is really where API first then becomes something that we understand very well, why it matters and why it's important to focus on APIs as an important part of your digital transformation initiative. And then we'll wrap it up with some conclusions from everything that we say. Let's jump right in and first look at the digital focus that is the, the underlying foundation of API first and a lot of other things in that space. When you look at digital initiatives and all the attempts to digitalize more things in organizations, it's important to always understand that digital capabilities benefit tremendously from the network effect, meaning that the more capabilities that you have, the more their value will grow because you can combine more things, you can build more things. And this is really important to always keep in mind that digitalization shouldn't be just an optional thing that you do if you have to use something right now. It should be a mindset that you apply all the time and you say, if something that I develop is a digital building block, then I invest into the future. I invest in being able to use that as a building block in any kind of digital value chain, chain that I'm building. And that means that every capability that you develop must be available digitally. And this pretty directly then translates to our API first topic we'll get to because what does it mean to be available digitally, to be a digital building block? It means to have an API. And it's interesting to briefly keep in mind how this, for example, played out within Amazon. I have a very long video where I talked with Michael Munson about the Jeff Bezos API mandate, which was about exactly that thing where Jeff Bezos said, everything that we do within Amazon must have an API. It's not optional. It's the most important thing we can do because that means we are investing into the digital future. We are investing into building up this inventory of digital building blocks. And that means that every product that you build must be digitally available. That means it must have an API. And this gets us to our second point, which is this idea of digital products. Now, what does it mean to have a digital product? If you look at what a product is, what is the definition of a product? The definition of a product is not just that it is available. The definition of a product is that it is a commodity, that it can be used by many users, that it is something that you can offer and others will find useful and consume. And this is exactly where APIs enter the picture. So a digital product is not just something that is available in a digital way somehow. It is available in a digital way as a product, meaning it's easy to understand, it's easy to use, it has a clearly defined value, and you make it available so that people can find and use it. And this really is the most important aspect in this story that looking at digital products and thinking about how can I have more digital products directly leads you to saying, well, I can have more digital products if I have more APIs that I have for all the capabilities that I'm developing. So when creating digital products, then it's always very important to think about consumption. 
as we looked at in the definition, right, a product has to be easily consumable. That is what makes it a product and not just a solution. And then I have to create some custom integration and all these things that negates the idea of a product. And if you want to unleash, so to speak, the network effect, you need products because you want your capabilities to be as reusable as possible, as easily reusable as possible, as easily understandable as possible. And for this, you need to really design them as products with a clear value proposition, with a clear description, with an easy to use definition and so forth. And that means that everybody who is in product management, and this is one of the big things that we see in organizations often not being put into place today, is that anybody who is in product management needs to always think about the digital surface, so to speak, of their product. Thinking about how is what I'm building here, how is this available digitally? to everybody so that they can easily consume it, easily include it in new products, in new value chains, and that it becomes something that is this digital building block. And this is really the most important part here to think about the fact that for API first to be as successful as possible, it's not just about having an API. It's about having a good API, a well-designed API that turns any digital building block into a product that is reusable. And this brings us to our last little chapter here, which is what does it now mean to have a product as an API? What I said before was that if you want to do API first and you want to have this network effect working for you, you have to think of all of your products as APIs. And this is a really important part. And in order to do that, then you have to clearly think of every product as something that needs to have a good API so that it becomes useful in the digital world. If it doesn't have an API, it doesn't exist in the digital world. It, it can't deliver value in the digital world. And that means that you are losing out on a lot of potential value that you could otherwise have. And in order to be a good product, it also needs to have a good API, meaning not just some API that you just generate and then say, well, mission accomplished, this thing has an API, but it has to be an API that turns it turns it into a useful and usable product so that I can use it and that I can use it easily. And in order to do that, thinking about an API becomes really important. It is an important part of product management and product design to always think about how can I turn what I'm working on here into the best possible digital building block. And this really then is the essence of API first. Thinking of every product as a digital product and then saying that since it's a digital product, people will use it how? Well, through its API. And that means that in order to design this product, I need to think about its API. And when I create a bad API, it is a bad product. It will be harder to use. It will be harder to reuse, meaning that I am diminishing the value of what I'm building. And in order to do this best, my advice always is to, to do what people are doing nowadays a fair bit, to use this concept of user stories, but to apply it to APIs. And then that's what I call API stories, but it's the same idea to think about if I am creating this digital building block, how can somebody easily use that? And for that, you can create those API stories and saying, if somebody wants to use this capability, here is how they can do it. Here is the API. They have to use this resource or they can subscribe to this event stream or whatever it is you're doing. But just 
clearly describing how can I get the digital value out of this product. I think this is really important. And, and then if you do this well, this pretty directly gets you closer to your API design. And you can say, in order to satisfy this API story, here is how you use this API. And if that is a good story or a good story of API usage, then you probably have a good API. If it becomes a really cumbersome process, then there's probably a better way maybe to design the API. So it is important to think of your API as something that is very important for the value of the product that you are managing or producing. Now let's wrap this up. It's a relatively simple thing, I would say. If you look at API first, it's not so much a technical aspect of saying, don't just implement, first think about the API. It's more driving things from the value and thinking about how can I create the most value for the organization. And nowadays, the most value is something that you can create when you turn it into a building block. And you do this by creating an API for it. And in order to turn it into a good building block, you have to create a good API for it. And you should do this first so that you have a good idea of what you're doing there. So in the end, I think API first really is mostly driving your thinking from the value angle and not so much from the let's expose some technical capabilities angle. And if you do this, then you get to this point where you have this thriving ecosystem of API products, of products as APIs. And in that ecosystem, then because of the network effect, you can start doing more and more things because Anything that you want to access is available through an API because that is how things are being done. And I think this really is the, the end state we should all thrive to get to. It's probably something that in some places it's still aspirational, but that doesn't matter. It's still a good guiding light to have in front of you and say, this is what we should be doing, what we should try to accomplish as our final goal. So in my mind, when you look at what API first means, it really means digital value first. It means that whatever you develop is something where you think about the digital value that it has and how to expose that digital value in a good way through a good API so that you can help value flow better in your organization that you can help this ecosystem of digital building blocks. And in the end, what API first then means for me is that first think about this digital value and how you can deliver it through the API. And then you have to implement it, of course. But that is something that should be second after first thinking about the API. So in the end, really, it's all about just exposing value through APIs and having that as your general principle in your organization. With that, we're done for today. I hope you found that interesting. It's really not that complicated, I think, but it is a really interesting concept. And I also think that it's something that helps you to really focus on the important things and always make sure that your ecosystem of digital components is thriving, is growing, and you always focus on the value that you produce and not just on some, some technical things. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the series, please consider subscribing. I just reached a thousand subscribers. Thanks everybody who subscribed so far. Spread the word. And once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.